Hey, hey, everybody. I'm here with Lydia. I'm so excited. My newest artist. I'm so happy to be here. Please type in in the chat where you are. Love to see you. Make sure you click host and panelists. I'd like to introduce my guest to you today. And if you don't know me, I'm an art agent at Lilla Rogers Studio, which I founded 20 eight years ago, and I absolutely love taking on new artists. Lydia Graves is an artist and illustrator living in Birmingham, Alabama, U.S. She grew up in Atlanta, Georgia, where she received a BFA in drawing, painting, and printmaking. One year, Lydia painted 365 portraits. She enjoyed it so much that she painted 100 more. Then, over, for over a decade, Lydia made her living by painting portraits and working as a nanny. She exhibited her artwork at Barbara Archer Gallery and Atlanta Contemporary. Years later, Lydia started teaching art to elementary students, which she continues to do to this day, and earned a master's degree in art education. Of course, we're going to try to get her to be working full time and ease out of that. I would love that. <laughs> in 2020, although teaching is a beautiful thing. In 2020, Lydia began taking Matt's classes in hopes of developing an illustration portfolio. She has been obsessed ever since. When she's not illustrating, Lydia chases around her spirited five year old son with her supportive, super supportive husband and their two pup, pups, Arnie, no, Annie and Artie not far behind. Lydia loves to travel and explore new places. Most nights she can be found curled up on the couch drawing and procreate and watching reality television. How many of you can relate to that? I know when you can do art on your on your iPad, it's just like you're free to go anywhere. Um, yay. So welcome. So glad to have you. I'm so looking forward to learning about you, looking at your artwork. Um, and I just, <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. And I love your shirt. I love your tattoos. It's all very pretty. Um, and I just want to remind everybody that the way I discovered this wonderful artist is through the Mats courses. She took many Mats courses. And today is the last day of the Mats sale. They did extend it one day. So hop on that, please. 50% off all the courses or some the 30 to 50% off. Go to Make Art That Sells and you can take the courses that I teach as well. I want to say before we get started that in the My Year of Art School, I will be doing more scheduled one-on-one um, -on -one lives with the group of those students taking the My Year of Art School and doing more career tarot because I had such fun doing it yesterday. I'm, I'm going to do that each time. Okay. Ask to show her nails. Julia Swan says, oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Brooke O'Neill says, love the shirt. Thank yes. You. Wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, this is great. Everybody's excited to see you. So, um, Lydia, I, I want to ask you some questions. I want to know, uh, how did you feel when you, when you, when I said, uh, what did I do? Email you? You what did. did yep. yep. You emailed me. I had, I made, handmade a book and sent it to you and you reached out, um, <laughs> and, um, and pretty quickly after, yeah, there it is. Um, and I was just over the moon excited and um it's yeah it's been a very surreal experience <laughs> yeah I love that I love that it makes people so happy when I take them on mm -hmm. she could take everybody look at this book do you believe she made this and it's what is this like 100% rag you know like two 300 pound paper or something very <laughs> Look at this work. It's like paper on paper on paper. Um, it's, it's like bursting at the seams. I'm getting my, it's heavy, getting my arm work. 
Oh, it's beautiful. You know, I, I do get books by people and, and various things. And it makes a difference, but the work has to be great. Like a cool project, a cool gift isn't enough. So anyway, long story short, I uh, we, we had a little Zoom together. We chit-chatted. I offered her representation. And how did that make you feel? Just blown away, excited and a little nervous. And um, yeah, just pinching myself. I can't believe it. It's a dream. You're my number one. You're you're it. So, um, and well, I know a few people get to be represented by you. So I'm humbled. <laughs> well, you worked really, really hard. You know, you gave your all. How much time would you spend on your assignments in class? who I mean and a ridiculous amount of time <laughs> um I I am really lucky in that like since I am a teacher I I get to do art all day but I also have a really great schedule um and only teach for a couple hours really in a day so I would do a little doodle in between classes and then like like you said earlier having a um an iPad, I can make art anywhere. So that's just changed it completely. So I'll, I'll draw at the trampoline park while my kid's jumping or, you know, like any minute I can get in, I'm, I'm drawing. <laughs> and what you're telling everybody is you made it a priority. It was Perfect. obvious. You would like crush the assignments. Yeah. You made it. How did you make it a priority? How did you, what decision did you make in your head to say, I want this. I'm going to do it even when it's hard or there's dishes or <laughs> um, or like I don't like where this piece is going, which happens to everybody. How did you what was in your mind to push through? Oh, I think of several things. So I um, I really wanted to be an illustrator and I I have. Uh, not had any work in illustration yet. And so I didn't know how to do that. Like I was in graduate school when I started taking um, Matt's classes and I was in school for our education. And, um, and so I just, I had no idea how to do it until I started taking your classes. And then once I, you know, you taught me how to do it, I was just like, all right, the world is my oyster. I got to put the pedal to the metal. So, and your work got so much better and better and better. How long ago did you start taking the courses? In 20, the fall of 2020. Fall of 2020. About so two years. It's about two years. That's pretty fast. That's pretty great. Yeah. Did you do my year this year? I did this past year. I did my year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that allowed you to um, really focus and that kept you motivated. Yeah. It's that burning desire, like just pay me to make pictures. That's all I want. Right. Just pay. Oh man. I did that too. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Um, and now I get to help people do that. So that's, I like my job. Um, Okay, let's see, what's my next question? And people, if you have questions, please pop them up in the Q&A, press the Q&A button, that way we can find them. Okay, so here's why we took you on, okay? People always wanna know like, how do you take on an artist? What do you look for? What do I need to do in my portfolio to be taken on? Well, work really, really hard to get your work really good, which is what Lydia did, her work is, really extraordinary and I think I'm just going to pop up something so um, for those of you who don't know her work you can see what we're talking about here with the level of polish the amount of work she puts in I mean this piece she didn't whip out it's thoughtful she had a color point of view she had a story point of view there's so much to look at give a lot that's what i always say give a lot um 
Greg says, Lydia, your consistent presence and participation is more helpful to your classmates than you know. Oh, Raquel oh. Russo, I just did her career tarot yesterday. Your work is so lovely, Lydia. I've been loving having you as a classmate. Thank Jean you. Russo says, you can see the love she puts into it. It's so nice to have so many familiar faces here today. Um, oh, Mari Richard says, okay, now Lilla is going to get tons of book portfolios. The thing too, talking about this that she made is this says to me, okay, this chick really wants this agency. Like this is some devotion, but you know, get your work rate first, everybody. That's the key. It's not just that. So, you, you know, I'm looking at her work and seeing it evolve in class and seeing, I wanted to see her get better. Like I do that with a lot of you. Like I want to see, it's not quite there, but I like where it's going. I like the vibe. I want to see them improve. Gorgeous color. She got brighter with her colors, more varied. Um, um, she, it's lush, of course, it's super lush, it's super unique. There's so much there, so much quality and so much quantity that I can see my clients really wanting to license it because it's going to beautify their product, right? Beautify their product. If it's on mugs, if it's on a picture book, people are going to want to buy that picture book just for the cover, right? It's, there is such, it is quantity as well as quantity of what you give in your piece. So there was that. It's a unique style, which is very important to me. So we envisioned, then I meet my team, with my team, Kim and uh, Susan, the agents, and I, say let's talk about it they loved it I said who do we envision buying this what clients what kind of sort of clients so of course toys of course picture books we do so well with picture books book covers I can see I, I like I want you to start thinking about adult covers book covers too they pay nicely it's just one piece so that's easier um, um, women doing things women in settings rom-com women um that kind of just look at book covers that are illustrated you know where's a great place besides bookstores if you go to an airport you go to the bookstores the airport man there's some good bookstores in airports anyway mm -hmm. i just flew to san francisco mm -hmm. um cards greeting cards of course and you've done a bunch of those for us editorial i want you to do maps do more maps letter and and she has lettering I need to see lettering because it's just going to get you, look, no agent wants to take somebody on and I'm going to move to the next piece. Nobody is going to take somebody on and, and not want to get work for them. You want to get work for them. So lettering is going to help you do that. And here we have it. Next thing is, let's talk about uh, tell us how do you let's get to you now how tell me how you make your art what do you use procreate talk to us about that I know everybody's interested in that yeah I use procreate and I for years and years before that used gouache and acrylic and so I, I feel like the way that I make my art in procreate is really how I paint um <clears throat> what I love about Procreate is that you can make changes so much faster than <laughs> with traditional media. Um, but I use just a couple of different brushes. I use um, Bardo brushes, their gouache set, and then um, a Mac, some, this one called Max Pack watercolor set. So I make a, I just use a million layers in Procreate. Um, like, with shadows and highlights. And um, I think discovering how to to use the um, the different layers like changed my work completely. I have a question. How did you do this hair? 
Oh, so it um, that I, I'll do a solid color and then add in um, like a color that's a little bit to the left on the color scale and a little bit to the right and kind of blend it all in together, add in some details and then um, with another layer, add in some shadows, another layer, add in the highlights. So um, and then the lines. exactly. Oh, the lines are gorgeous. Look too in this hair down here, look at this one bottom right. The lines aren't all parallel. They intermingle a little. They, I think they range, they change thick to thin. They have a beautiful uh, quality here too. The, there's curly, the hair with the wave on this lower middle character. And then this is straighter, the little braids. Great attention to detail. Look at the scales on this uh, mermaid on the bottom left. The shading, a little bit of shading even. I even blow this up. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that shading. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you know, and she doesn't go, okay, I'm going to do all the hair. like I'm going to do all my lines like this. No, then she has this dark line here. And then she doesn't have lines. She's shading. And there's a lot of variety. These seem like thicker hair strands. They end more thickly. It's just gorgeous. This is nice blowing it up. <laughs> Thank you, technology. Okay. Let's see if there's... Um, questions about technique um let's go to the next talk to me about this how what was this for how did you make it this was for my toy pitch and it was um in conjunction with the mermaids from the last slide um and I just thought about like what would I have loved as a child um also thinking about the, my students now, like what the girls would really enjoy playing with. Um, I mean, boys too, but, um, and then, but I, I always love a little bit of a vintage or like retro flair. So thinking about like an old school, um, beauty shop, um, you know, how could I kind of mold, like not mold, but melt, <laughs> um, both like yeah, more yeah. modern style merge there you go you got it um, merge um like a more modern idea with um with something a little retro mm -hmm. no it, i mean it's so imaginative it's this one i remember seeing this and thinking okay i need to really think about this person you know it's it's first of all it's gorgeous right and second of all it's a real toy that could be made and could be beautiful even if each little item can't be made out of wood or whatever that they could be painted on or a, a shelf that shows the chair or something like that. But it shows me imagination, beautiful color palette, creating a mood. I love the um, coral on the sides. Like what? There's the, mm -hmm. there's coral. I mean, like she didn't have to do that go that extra mile everything with her is extra mile the lamp that table remember those tables with the two layers oh my god and the the artwork on the wall this lamp i mean i need to own that lamp and then the pattern the <laughs> the old hingy thing it's really beautiful so yeah brenda says i mean it really pulls you in looks like you can already play with it you just want to reach into the picture so <laughs> true Okay, then, oh my God, this is, this was for class. It was for the Illustrating Children's Book class. How did you come up with this for the cover for the class? Oh, well, I, I wanted to like show that the character was just a very curious little, little guy. And so like, but also have a little bit of mystery. So covering his face up a little bit um, with the camera um, seemed fun. And then, um, yeah, I, I love, had it. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I interrupted you. Yeah, I love, it does show his curiosity. It does show like he's in the water, but the, 
the title is huge, which is great. It's big. This will work well small on Amazon if it were a real book. Again, the coral is just beautifully, look how she creates a border along the edges. It's so beautiful. This is like doing a review. <laughs> it's like I'm doing a review of your work, um, like for class. And, and then, come on, this guy? <laughs> look they're smiling they're really cute without being sappy this crab crazy I love the color of this with a bit of blue and then this pink you can all see my cursor right and then you can see it yeah and then the pink on top it's really beautiful and it's not cluttered it's a clear read she knows what she's doing you've got the kid and the lettering and then you go in, this is very organized as a border, as I said, the typography is small, but at least it pops well. Yes, and that her color palette is really unique. Did you have fun doing it? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, Coco Maloco. This was a departure for you because this was your most sort of like cartoon based, what's another word? cartoony cartoon like yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. animated. yeah like just this cool kind of motion graphic kind of imagery and I thought oh that's that's cool but look she captures the expression so beautifully look at the letter the letter mm -hmm. I woke up I went to bed way too late yay Georgia so happy mm -hmm. 30 oh my god and woke up at six but I'm so excited to be here and I'm so excited about all that mm -hmm. anyway um she she's fun with lettering she draws the letter forms she draws them and puts icing on the donuts mm -hmm. it's pretty great pretty great very legible that's cute look at this guy <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love god. this character and Zoe's story what's up I loved this character in Zoe's story, like the, yeah, yeah. So I could just co-teacher Zoe writes the stories and the, the students illustrate. But I think is anybody here who has not taken a maths class, so we I know what to explain more. Um, you can type that in. Brenda says, Lydia, how do you approach your hand lettering? What is your process? Oh, we have some newbies. Nice to have you here, Renee and Susan um how, Brenda wants to know how do you approach your lettering what's your process I think it, it varies like this one um you know the donuts were obviously a um, inspiration but often it's just trial and error it's doing a lot of different options and then kind of scaling back and seeing what works best for this like what's appropriate um it, it's a lot of misses though like I I draw a lot that you never see <laughs> you do those on paper or on the on the tablet oh all on always on the tablet yeah mm -hmm. so you don't get discouraged you do a bunch you're like ah, eh, I don't like it don't like it you just you because why is that because excuse me um I think I've learned that um the first thing you do is not always the best, <laughs> you, you know, practice makes better. And, um, and yeah, I, I know I would rather work longer on something and, and love the outcome than just quickly do it and, and not love it. You know, I want to be proud of what I put out there. <laughs> well, and I know what it is. She knows that she'll eventually get there. This is the thing. She knows she'll eventually get to the place where it's good. So she doesn't get discouraged. I think this is so important. Oh, someone asked who that Renee asked, what is your background? Like work. Oh, oh like the her background. Yeah, tell um you the like the bio about your background. I or did you mean the background of the art? Let's answer both. How did you get the background of the art? Was that tradition? That wasn't traditional media. No, no. There are some um, some papers you can buy online that you make like um, 
Yeah, you can you can fool with it and procreate to make it look like it's traditional. Digital papers. Mm -hmm, exactly. Yep. Digital papers. And then Renee wants to know work wise. Work wise, I was a nanny for 12 years and then I've been an elementary art teacher for I'm in my fifth year. Um, I waited tables for a long time, like nothing exciting. <laughs> uh, yeah, for a long time. And and I just painted portraits for years and years, um, commissioned portraits. So great. Just like pets, <laughs> pet portraits. You do that on Etsy? I know? just did. It was word of mouth. People would just like DM me on Instagram, like, hey, can you paint my dog? <laughs> and I'd say, yeah, email me. Here's my prices. And I don't, I don't do it anymore. Um, it's a lot. It's very time consuming with little pay. <laughs> yeah. And people, it's very hard to work for the consumer, mm -hmm. business to consumer. I like illustration and why I was interested many years ago is it's business to business. You're working with art directors who assign all the time. It's not their own money out of their pocketbook and checkbook. It's a budget that they have to spend on illustration. Yeah, consumers, Mari, you're right. It's like, that doesn't quite look like my dog, you know, Chewy. It's not, he's no, he's not that this, or he's cuter, or fatter, or thinner, or like, you didn't really get his, oh my God, I know. It's like people, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understand it's their own hard-earned money. I get it. But that's why commercial is so good. Okay. Um, Renee, did that answer your question? And feel free to follow up. Yeah, Annette says exactly. Okay, so this is from the my toy pitch course where you did the a kit with all this cool stuff inside, backpack bakery. What was the most fun part of this? Just envisioning a child walking around with it, like how could, you know, how could this really work? You know, um, I think so that you think like a child, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and like a mom, like how does as a as a mom, like how could my kid be entertained by something like this, you know, right. and and keep up with the pieces. <laughs> Yeah, because there aren't, they're big pieces. There aren't that many. It's great. It wouldn't be hard to produce too. It could be done in board, cardboard, even wood, painted wood, um, which is nice. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Thank you. Or fabric. Yeah, Mari. It's nice to see the crew here. Yeah. Um, I just have to tell the crew something. Oh my God, Erica. I'm okay. going I just got this I showed class Erica Root sent me this am I the luckiest agent it's a pencil cup oh my gosh she made it that's it's amazing so beautiful I love it so much my name on it oh my god will you do you have any more to take photos of send to us we'll try to get you a gig this is one of my artists um We'll try to get you a gig for that idea. That's pretty cool, ma'am. Um, oh, well, I'll tell my little thing at the end. So here, this is for the picture book class. It's a one and only. Okay, I'll take photos. I know. Where can I get one, says Brenda? You have to. I don't know. But I don't know how you would make those and make any money doing one-offs. You have to sell them for like 500 bucks, you know, to make it worth it. Okay, um, she did a scene, an interior double page spread for class with the characters. Tell me what was the most fun part for you? Oh, uh, I think the the different poses and then the expressions, like that's something that I'm still really working on um, and like trying to, differentiate a bunch of donuts from each other <laughs> um you know like if it's personalities exactly yeah um and and then like coke trying to get coco maloco to stand out 
among other donuts mm -hmm. um, without being too overly like, it's me, <laughs> you know. Wow. Look at this with the tool. Like, how did you come up with the tool skirt? How did you think of that? Are these thought, pink ones? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I was thinking, where are they going and where are they coming from? You know, like the the ballet is next door. So um, she's on her way to the ballet and um, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what she does is she's making up stories in her head, backstories on her characters. Who are they? They're going to ballet class. They go every week. Is there a backstory for any of the others or little tiny, like, where's this one going to? Do we know? Not sure. <laughs> uh, maybe a, like a, just like a little farm, <laughs> a little urban body. farm. <laughs> that body is to die for. And Annette says the suspenders on the donut. That's hilarious. I know they don't serve any purpose, right? There's no shoulders. <laughs> Suspenders, they're suspenders. It's great. Look at the legs here. Oh my God, in the space. Look at that one with the knees together. You Zoe really better. heard Zoe and me teach you, particularly Zoe, about poses. And I never understood the importance of poses so much, but kids may not, a two year old you're reading the book to doesn't understand words necessarily. Like there was a crowd. They don't know what a crowd is, but if it's if you show the crowd, a busy crowd going here and there, it, it doesn't um, even say that in the text, but she shows, Lydia shows the busy crowd going here and there and in a hurry and doing this and that. Today they were going to be decorated. So great. Okay. Oh my God, I'm just dying. It's really fun to do this with you too. Like really just talk through each piece. That's pretty cool. This, this is a character. This is a great character that you've got to just like do a page of and we'll pitch that pretzel man. How cool. I'll do it. This one was prep for, for uh, Coco Maloco, I think. It was prep like Matt's prep? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what I'm was pretty that? sure. I might be wrong, but I don't know. No, it's me. I can't keep. Look, I'm writing, finishing writing the Artie book course. <laughs> and I just have a lot of balls in there. <laughs> this is very recent. Mm -hmm. I was thrilled because of the warmer colors, a different palette. Um, it's gorgeous. I can see you getting all kinds of I can see you doing an arty book with this do you do you like baking cooking I like eating <laughs> <laughs> I don't really like to cook <laughs> no. Jacob, my son's girlfriend she doesn't like to cook Jacob cooks for her and, and she's like so happy about that but I I'm um, she's She's um, gluten-free, dairy-free, and FODMAP, and she's coming up. FODMAP is like you can't eat certain things. Okay. And she's coming up in, in December, and I'm so excited because I love her so much, and I'm cooking all these things for her. And so she has food in addition to, like, we have everything from the super carnivore, gluten-dairy guy, all the way to the, ve like, vegetarian and then her. So... I'm getting to a point. My point is that I told her, I know she thinks I'm working so hard, but I said, no, cooking is like a craft project that you get to eat at the end. It's a craft project. So anyway, sorry for that little, I'm just very excited about everybody coming up. These flowers are extraordinary. I see a greeting card, a series of cards for spring, for happy, for sympathy, for um, for new baby, or just beautiful series of bouquets of four different bouquets. I just cannot stand how much I love these flowers. Um, and then 
this is so incredible. The whole thing I can see getting commissioned to illustrate a bunch of recipes for a book. Um, That's good to me. <laughs> Yes, it sounds good to me. Yeah, I know. I know everything I'm saying. You're like, mm -hmm. yes. And, and you don't know what you're going to get. This is the interesting thing. And, and you find that people gravitate toward you. She should be easy. You can cook her water. I don't understand that, Erica, but S'mores Stevenson thinks it's well, funny. <laughs> I can boil water. <laughs> so, so you never know what's going to pull. You just know. You don't know. Like some artists, I had one who was decorative. And then she started doing picture book stuff in class. I represent her. Now, all she does is she's booked for several years for picture books. But she started with like repeat patterns and decorative stuff. Well, books are huge, so there's work for that. It's also where's the work, where's the money, but um, it's also what you show is what you know is what you get. This was for the home decor class. This is unbelievable. Talk to me about this. What was the assignment? What did you do for it? So the um, assignment was for the metal substrate um, in the home decor class. Um, you and Margot. Um, each week talk about a different um, substrate and so this was metal and so um, the board the um, trend board that I chose was Regency Park and um, so like what's that tv show on Netflix I'm not being very helpful um, about yes. Bridger Bridgerton is that what it is Oh, Bridgerton. Yeah, Bridgerton. So that was kind of what the um the the board looked like. Um so I was thinking like what kind of you know what kind of animals might they have as like on their land. <laughs> and so the the ostrich seemed like a regal um critter to to draw. And I I clearly really enjoy going super detailed so like I drew each individual feather and um Blow that up. I get I I'm I kind of drive myself crazy sometimes <laughs> yeah, I like it though right I enjoy it yeah I do but then I like I'll get in it and I'm like why are you spending 50 years <laughs> drawing these you could repeat them you know oh, but, yeah but it's, fun. it's probably the meditative part of the work like some, you're just really having to think every mm -hmm. second, like, how is this foot going to be drawn? Mm -hmm. And how is the face and the eye? But this is like feather, feather, feather. I can see. Yeah, Julia also looks like a meditative process. It's so beautiful. Look at the paint texture she's able to get. It's really good. Oh, look at that. It's like smudgy stuff. It really does look like, I'm so glad you worked in traditional gouache because I find too that um, having painted in oils and gouache and everything, pastel, when I do use my iPad Pro, which is almost never, but when I do, it's like, oh yeah, I know what paint's supposed to do. So I do encourage all of you to get out there and do stuff. Okay, tell us about this gorgeous thing. So this was for um, for Tamisha's course, um, redrawing. redrawing Black History, yes. And this is actually probably the most like the work that I did as a portrait painter. Um, everything I did for that class was more in that, in line with that. So um, yeah, Betty Davis, I, I was really inspired by this, her outfit and, um, Pulled colors from her outfit to um, include in the flowers around her. And um, in the portraits that I painted before, I would often have flowers around the person or animal um, and clearly really enjoy <laughs> um, drawing flowers. So it's so fantastic. I love too, this is the first time I've seen 
I when I saw this that you had a black background, mm -hmm. think, at least that I remember, and it it's just that you try new things. I don't get bored. Like, okay, okay, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's like, oh, then there's this amazing portrait with the flowers. We saw the daffodil piece, but now suddenly there's a, a black background that gives it more power too. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a great class. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, tell us about this because I, this is new to me. This one, I think was like a drawing challenge on Instagram. Um, Charlie Clements, I think is her name. Um, and she just gives a couple of prompts. And this one was uh, sunflower glasses and maybe tattoos. I, yeah, because she, she's got little tattoos. Um, so this was like in between Matt's classes. I just, you know, wanted some inspiration and went with it and you keep working um greg should do that he should set out insta challenges you know greg in our class who's always come like before i do the the game the guessing game he comes up with things even before i announce the category greg if you watch this replay somebody should text J uh, greg about that <gasps> oh my god i love this and look see now it's blue she does like blue. Oh, Greg, are you here? It's you blue. Care. It's a whole different color palette. It's refreshing. It's a different face. It's less realistic than this one. And it's got more, it's very stylized. It's more animated. What was this for? Tell us about this. I think this was another one for the same challenge. So it was beret stripes and curly hair um were the prompts oh that's a nice prompt mm -hmm. okay this one she's fabulous this one was supposed to be kind of me in a <laughs> in a sense the tattoos I have tattoos on one arm like her and I'm curvy um with glasses and I think I think that I'd made this for actually for grad school I was in a teaching class where we had to do like weekly journal like drawing prompts sketchbook prompts and so um I did that for that week <laughs> how long ago was this I this was about a year ago oh wow I finished grad school in May of this year mm -hmm. wow for teaching for teaching mm -hmm. yep and you did maths Oh, math is... got me through grad school <laughs> it awesome. gave me it brought me joy and like just something to do for myself like I grad school was I did it to get my teacher's certification and so it I mean wasn't what I was passionate about <laughs> um but this this is my passion and, and brings me joy so it got me through <laughs> this. I mean, I, I'm blowing up your work and I realize I don't do that that often. I think it's because your work is so detailed. We want to just zoom in. Okay. You know, I'm crazy about this one. Oh my God. I, this made the review in class. This was in the toy class. It's a play set. So, he, and, and this was one of the first, I think, where uh, to my knowledge that you did these patterns these mod patterns which just was like you went above and beyond and then these characters this is so great thank you I love doing this one it was so much fun I love researching um I loved I enjoyed re researching like the different patterns and furniture styles of this era um it was yeah it was fun but like how to make it you know more contemporary or current authentic you know the a-line house and and these beds the sofa this fireplace thing that's now back in style the kitchen that was real simple then it's really great and here we have these characters again yeah. and pretty wonderful 
Look at the lettering up here, which has shading and shadows. <laughs> this, oh my God, this one, I remember this. Tarot, mm. of course. I love tarot, but that's not enough. It's just that it's a food truck. It's a tarot <laughs> truck. And these yeah, little yeah. people, um, this is pretty great. This yeah. this was a different look for you. When did you do this one? This one it was a while back. I um, like it. I feel like I I don't remember what it was for. It was for a Matt's class, maybe one of the self paced classes. Um, and yeah, Mary, maybe I can't remember. Matt's B paper, probably. Yeah, it's great. That's a mm -hmm. nice set. And yeah. then this, wow. This was for, I know also this. Also for a, a self-paced class. I think maybe Matt's B. Baby apparel. Baby we apparel, yep. Mm -hmm. A little crib sheet here of the different, different categories. This is gorgeous. Thank you. This one was, I think, for Home Decor Plus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful. Thanks. Fabulous. This, this, cool. this would make a good puzzle. Mm. A really good puzzle because there's a lot of stuff and it's, but everything fits in neatly so you can find them. That's good. Thanks. And that's it. Mm. 23 or 23. Okay, we have the giveaway, people. We're giving away, and I'm going to show you. I can pop it up. We are going to pop this up. Can you see that nice and big? Yes. Oh, my God. Is that beautiful? What is it? Tea towel. A tea towel, yes. It's on its way to me, and I will mail it to you. Um, so uh, it's based off of the, an illustration you saw earlier, but I just reworked it so that you could fold it two different ways and still have um, a beautiful image. Yeah, it's really great. Okay, so who's ready for the game? Um, so here's how it works. I'm going to say a, t a category. You can guess as many times as you want, as often as you want, and we will try to find the first person that guesses the correct answer, but if we don't, it's the first one that we see. So that's how it goes. Okay, is everybody ready to win that beautiful towel? The category is a game. Boom. Oh, that, was one. that was quick. Hey, that was quick. S. Moore Stevenson, tic-tac-toe. Boom, tic-tac-toe. So, uh, S. Moore Stevenson, you just write, what should they, she email you? Or so S. S. Moore Stevenson, you can just email me. This is Kim behind the scenes here. Um, so you can email me at Kim, K-I-M at lillarogers.com and we'll organize to get that sent out to you. Congratulations. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, cool. Yay, that's pretty wonderful. Do you have any words of advice for people um looking to get an agent or looking to make their work better or just keep doing just draw every day put yourself out there I can't um I can't count the amount of times that I was like just blasting Lilla in the chat like <laughs> I love you help me <laughs> like <laughs> I want to be represented by by Lilla <laughs> um I I mean I'm shameless so just be shameless about your work and and unapologetic be you you know yeah and you stuck with your goal and it's obvious and you worked hard yes you worked hard it's but the beauty is you work hard but then you're really good at something the only way to get good at something is to work really hard and then you have so much to offer when you get really good at something so much Oh, good, Sally. I'm glad you like the chat. Yeah, yeah. It's very inspiring. You are an inspiration to all of us, for sure. 
I just, I mean, it's just, her work is stunning. Well, thank you, everybody. It's a pleasure being here. I'm supposed to remind you again, today's the last day to sign up for Make Art That Sells at on the Big Giant Sale for classes for 2023. Does anyone have any questions about what to sign up for? The um, It's at makeartthatsells.com. They extended it till through tonight. And do you have any questions? Erica says, do it, sign up. I found Erica in class. I now represent her. Um, is there one class you recommend, Lydia, that people take? Mm. I mean, I'm most excited about the arty book class coming up. Um, <laughs> I al although it's new, so I had I've not taken it yet. Um, I would say if you're just starting, uh, maybe a boot camp because there there's a taste of everything and it's paced very manageably. Um, but if you can man it, if you can do it, do my year. Like you won't regret it. It's I keep saying this over and over, but it's the best investment I made last year. Um, it's yeah. paying off. <laughs> yeah. And it, I mean, it's so much cheaper than, well, even like one college course. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have a lot of my years here. Thank you, Jen. My year is the best. That's wonderful. Okay, everybody. Hope to see you in January. Have a wonderful holiday season and bake lots of yummy foods. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you so much, Lydia, for being here today. Really enjoyed it. I, I love that I got to chat with you about every single piece, you know, and in the rush of life, you know, we look at your work, but we don't have always that level of conversation. We're busy talking to you about business and the, you know, agency stuff, but mm -hmm. it's great. And, and book me to talk about your arty book. We can start working on that ahead. Great. I'll do it now. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Can't wait to see you in class. Bye.